Oh, really? Put it in. Is it going to make me throw up? Or shit. Maybe. You want me to you're exactly saying, reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck <laughs> no, baby! That's a new one told story. A uh, new one told story. It's a fresh big untold story. Today's episode is brought to you by Factor. Is that the first one? Or did you send them? Or wait, is there an order? Let's see here. It might be. Well, it's going to be presented maybe later. Maybe now. What episode number is it, Kyle? 366. They're in order? Today's episode is brought to you by Factor. I got yep. a lot of good things to say about Factor. Take the wheel, baby. I use Factor. Literally. I actually do use I it. Use is a weird verb. Yeah, that's yeah. not, well, and that's I, not you, I get a, a box. Thing I get a box once a week. I get a box once a week. Using yeah. makes it seem like Sounds you like inject you still it. don't eat it. No, I eat it every single day. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it is for what it's the it only is, way that I'm gonna eat vegetables. That's the only way, yeah. That's the only yeah. way SAS will feed. Yeah, exactly. Um, with factor, if you're too busy this fall to cook, you can uh use factor. It cuts out the grocery store, the chopping, the prepping, the filleting, the butterflying. Souffle, souffle, the sous vide. <laughs> what's a broil? Like a London broil. So when you hey, dip broil. It in cold water. Why don't you sous vide? Bl- bl- blanche. blanche. Yeah, blanche. 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 What's cold? Blanche. Blanching is a pain in the ass. Is it? And that's why I use Factor. That's why I use Factor. They blanch, they for, blanch me. for you. You guys can go to uh, factormeals.com/slash kb50. Use code <laughs> kb50 to get fifty percent <laughs> off. Uh-huh. That's his name shorter. Uh, use code kb50 at factormeals.com/slash. KB50, 50% off. We're here with Ronan and Sass and also Pilar. Hey, guys. Um, I'm glad you guys are here for this episode. We have four mics, but this is the nicest studio we've been in in months. It is. By definitely. a long yeah, shot. You guys have been recording at a poker table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Shit, that shit is something. Yeah, it's rough out there. Yeah. It's, but aren't it, you guys moving like next week? Priority shows are. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when is yeah. it going to be for you guys? They haven't. They haven't even given us yeah, a know. date. We're gonna be able to shoot hoops, <laughs> play knockout, which you love. Which I is do, your yeah. best. Your best thing. The thing you yeah. want when you're recording a podcast is a basketball court. There. Oh yeah. <laughs> Add a little bass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have Pilar on. But I'm glad you guys are here because we review mar- merch with Pilar. Yes. And you're a fashion icon, and you're an OSG. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You're a one shirt, shirt guy. guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, you guys are the two demographics. Like, if you guys can meet on a shirt, like, you would wear that. Right. You would wear that often. Yeah, I wear it every day. Um, yeah. Uh, then it's probably the perfect shirt. But this is a bad episode because you're wearing like your prince's ball outfit I've never seen <laughs> no, this that's is my winter that's you in like evening so, wear this like is my winter it's debutante style You're, you, have you been getting earth tones from Roan earth tone Roan no I'm always earth tones yeah, you yeah, rarely yeah, see yeah. me in any like neons or anything like that but you'll wear like, like a, a bright brown. blue bill my life blue for oh that is true seven months yeah <laughs> that is true or your maroon Mississippi State shirt but that's really? earthy. That's earthy. I wore that yesterday. Don't you have like a bunch of sh- t-shirts with like big ass animal prints? I do. Yes. Okay. Those aren't flashy. No, but I don't really wear those that often. Those are more just in-house pieces. Those are lounging pieces. I asked Pilar if we could get uh, friendship bracelets in the store, like the Taylor Swift ones, but I, she made me a promo. It's W-N-G-N-G. W-N-W-N-G. What does that mean? What Nikki wants, Nikki gets. Oh. <laughs> fuck kind of my yeah. credo. I like uh, So that. I want to get these in the store. Just so it's like a what would Jesus do, but a little bit more. What's the believable. price point? What's the? I think this was going to be. We have to sell them for twenty dollars. Ooh. Which is kind of steep for a friend. Steep as hell. Yeah. Yeah, if you're paying like any amount of money though for that, you it might as well be twenty. Yeah, true. If you're buying this, you're not. It's not like something you're going to use. It's just to say, yeah, it's somebody who has ex- disposable income anyway. Here, here, let, let's do this and I'll share with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, so this is tricky because we don't really have a, um, I don't know how you guys are all going to see it once, but I'll show it to you guys first. Okay. This is, you guys tried to make a poster early on for Son of a Boy Dad, right? A what? A poster. It did really well. 
Uh, I didn't. find that hard to believe. Yeah, well, it's nice because it was so portable. It was a fucking piece of printer paper. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys did a portable poster. So it you was an like, eight by ten, dude, and they were selling it for like fifty five dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wanted a poster, a full yeah. poster, yeah. and I feel like that's one of the easier asks. Like I thought it would be easier to make a poster than a t shirt, and but like it's cool if you wanted to like, it was like if you're going from place to place, you could just put it in your pocket. Oh yeah, it's like a sports card. Yeah, it really yeah, is. Yeah. I got mine PSA graded. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we could do one like a KB what KB did what live at Plymouth Rock. As oh, a my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Cuz like I think with some some tour dates. Yeah, that's perfect. That can we get the them larger? And tour date on the back. Oh, you want a t-shirt? I was thinking posters. Okay, that's why I want. Cuz like Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Have you guys ever been to Plymouth Rock? Yeah, it yeah. sucks. Yeah, it's very small. It's Big the size of like a laundry machine. Yeah, it is. It's very tiny. I would like this on a t-shirt though. A summer of Chris. Oh, we went to Head Kennywood Park who did a Chris Rock themed uh, summer. Yeah, I like that. And so summer of Chris, back and Chris than ever. We will Chris your world. I think let's just say we, should, we will Chris your Chris. The 2008. Can we do that? Can we use? Yeah, we can try. What does that mean? Basically, the what's the show? Everybody hates Chris. They own probably that picture they own chris they own chris they own chris but so we that's can gonna try be tough it and then can maybe... we do a look alike <laughs> <laughs> just a guy yeah, get a not yeah yeah it could be kb instead of chris well there's mm. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't work wouldn't work um here's a here's me on a two monitors looking both at hentai <laughs> With a ring light in front of me. Who's making these? I, uh, the, the Discord. Random dudes, yeah. That's a good shirt. I'll I, wear would that. Would you wear that yeah, shirt? That's a daily. Me thing. watching hentai on dual monitors with a ring light in front of me? Yeah, sure. I wouldn't wear it, but we could sell it. It's not about... Okay. It's, it's oh, not Pilar wouldn't you. wear it. It's not about you. Would you wear what Nikki wants Nikki gets? Maybe, depending on the design. Um, This one is just says, I spent $1,200 on this t-shirt at the barstool store oh shit <laughs> i think that's a pretty good idea but I someone think, would buy can that we do a more basic font though it's a little too it's too flashy it's, this shirt yeah. is twelve hundred dollars we can give them the font yeah. or would it, would it actually sell for twelve hundred or would you sell it for like twenty six dollars and people could kind of i think we should sell it for like five hundred because then so be like, oh, it's, if we it's, sold it's, how many would twenty six dollar shirts would we have to sell to equal one one two zero zero uh, I'm not good at math. Like a lot. I think we just sell one. We go for one. one yeah. One $1,200 shirt. Okay. And, and should we say like limited supply? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, we started Barstool Kush. I wanted to talk to you about this because like. <laughs> Barstool Kush is taking off. It, Speaking of which, I actually smoked Kush last night. Prove it. I, I wish I could. Yeah. You, yeah, oh, yeah short term memory has yeah. gone. He did smoke that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So some people are submitting Barstool Kush merch. This is like our big credo is we don't fuck with Reggie. Yeah. You don't want Reggie. So that's an anti Reggie shirt for Barstool Kush. Okay. Can we do that? You get it? No. It's like Reggie. Let, let me explain. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, <laughs> Reggie Miller. Do you get it now? No. Nah. Let me explain further. <laughs> Indiana Pacer, legend. Right. Okay. Now do you get it? No. Okay, it's a famous basketball player named Reggie. Okay. Okay. Now do you get it? Reggie is a strain of weed. Mm. Oh, okay. Barely. <laughs> now do you get it? Yeah. Okay. It's, so we don't smoke weak we strains. We don't smoke weak yeah. strains at all. Um, and then there's this one. It's like printed on the pocket. You know, like those shirts with like the front pocket and had the cat giving the middle finger. But this one just has like a fucking joint and a lighter in the pocket. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Would, okay. you, would you wear that? Yeah, but we'll take the logo off the front of the pocket. That makes it look less cool. The barstool logo? Yeah. Damn, KB. <laughs> Are you hungry? Are you mic'd up? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? You hear that? Um, I'm fasting. Yeah. You're fasting hard. Yeah. That's. Are I'm you trying to get hard down for the, the fucking anorexia? Autism, uh, wrestling match. Autism wrestling match. Oh yeah. No. no, I just feel amazing by like hour eighteen. Oh nice. Like second wind. So the first seventeen Dude, hours was pretty brutal though. Okay. Um, I'll do like a double meal <laughs> at like nine <laughs> p.m. or a.m. P.m. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'll crash at like one or two when I have to be on anymore. Any further questions? No, I'm just a little concerned. The Untell This Bitch shirts, do they sell okay? Yes. So I think we could bring it back. And this one says it's a pirate skeleton with a gun and a sword in front of his ship. Mm -hmm. And the gun is like it's a smoking barrel he had just shot. And it makes the skull and crossbones. And it says, rule one of the pirate code, never make another pirate cry. 
That is a good code. That's a yeah. I think it's a really <laughs> good. My favorite. Yeah, I think so too. Would you wear that? Yeah. Never make another print pirate. Big, right? Yeah. Okay. I do like that. A yeah, lot. and it's and uh, it's a good ass <laughs> code for pirates. Oh, this one's really good. Kyle, you want to explain this one? I can try. Okay, so we have the Dominican Republic flag and the the Republican elephant flag, and it says Dominicans and Republicans buy anus shirts too. So that's for like. Dominicans and Republicans. Right, yeah. What if you guys did like a Israel Palestine shirt, but all the proceeds went to Ukraine? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Then maybe people would start doing buying it. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Um the shirt just says I'm going to go missing soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has Leonardo DiCaprio on it, like doing the cheers <laughs> gift. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. This one's actually good. It's a new untold story with a, it's like the Willy Wonka font. Yeah. It'll be whiz we wazier with the television. I love this one. I would wear the fuck out of this shirt. Not gay. That one's awesome. One. Uh, no, we didn't. Not gay. I told gay. you we could do this one. We can do not gay in yeah. the store. Can we do it like that alien? I Might not print that big. Okay, that's I fine. Don't... I think even small, not gay with the alien. Yeah. I like that a lot. I love that shirt. I love the purple. You, Roan, you wear purple occasionally. No, I love that. I, but I want it big, though. I feel like it needs to, it be, needs to be big. It just needs okay. to be as big as possible. What does trying entail? Like, I'll ask our printers how big we can print. You it's ask the printer? Like, well, yeah. Like it's it would, our vendor. The, the printer is a profession no, like a, a, of a man. Yeah, a screen print is like a person. Oh, they're, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's a job. This one's on the flip side. This one's just gay, but it's Mook's face real big. <laughs> Everybody's making Mook shirts As long right as now. Mook's mom says it's okay. There's a picture. Of, there's a shirt with his mom on it that I didn't include. Barstool like Kush. That's that's a good ass logo for Barstool Kush. But yeah, is it trippy just, enough though? It's not trippy. No, yeah. but I was thinking you could do like a inverse, like the outside is all optical illusion, but that's like the center. Oh, that's a really good like idea. Like a tie dye. Like a tie dye. Yeah. Okay, we could do that. Um, cu cu come suck on my shark tits. I don't know. Do we ever talk about that? No, we never spoke about that. Okay, I like this one. It's a really, really long T-shirt, and on the back said, "My pants box is on the way." It's like their pants <laughs> haven't gotten there yet. Can we do that? <laughs> I'll have to find a really long t-shirt. Well, it can be like a can... nightgown. Okay. Or a dress. A dress? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. An anus dress in the store. <laughs> wait, uh, that's wait. on my leaderboard now. An anus yeah, dress. The dress, okay. my pants box is on the way. Um, sexy red, but it's all mook. She sued us, so probably no sexy red. Sexy red sued us? Yeah. Sued us hard? No, she just asked like to take mild. a shirt down. What was no. the shirt? I know it had something to do with the Jets. The New York Jets? Mm -hmm. Oh, was it a picture of her and the Jets owner? Maybe. Okay. I think it said Ski Yee or something. Uh, okay. what, did the, what did Robert do? The coach? Yeah. What do you mean, what did he do? You just wanted to prove that you knew the head coach's name. <laughs> <laughs> I finally learned it. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think would be awesome on a t-shirt. It's cops after a drug bust, but they just have our anus logo. Yeah. I think that's fucking awesome. Polaris. Isn't the could. original photo of that just like a tiny bowl in the center of the... In the center of the yeah, table. it's a tiny yeah. little bowl of weed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's, yeah, I think that's it actually. But can we do the hentai? Me at hentai, watching hentai. Can we maybe blur out part of the hentai? Not this one, no. Okay. What about just like a different um, frame of the hentai? So it's like, is it the juiciest frame of the hentai? No, no. This no, is actually pretty, pretty soft core. It just shows the work. curves. Yeah. yeah. So then what's the... Okay, that could... There might be nipple on the right one. Maybe, yeah, we might, we might have to edit some or of it, but... A nipple. Yeah. I feel like that's a slap in the face to the artist. No, that's all we had so far. That's all we had for you, actually. But what, what was your favorite there? Um, I liked the actual Untold Story logo with the in the Willy Wonka font. Not gay is my topic. Not gay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna put and the not gay. And then I think the what about the pirate? The pirate. One? Oh, a pirate. Yeah, that's code. Code. Okay, we'll do not gay. A pirate's code. Okay. And then we'll just do. What about Barstool Kush? We'll do that. That'll be our Black Friday. Can we do green? Can we do green Saturday? Hmm? Like can our do... stuff's on sale. For, like our weed merch is on sale on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday only. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to do Black Friday. We're going to do green, green Saturday. Saturday. Green Saturday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that fine? But you still promote on Black Friday. The rest of the store? We'll do other people's stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can we count on you guys to have our back on Saturday? Oh, let's get that. 100%. Yeah. Green Saturday. Green Saturday. Well, thank you, Pilar. Thank you so much. Yep, thanks, thank guys. you for the bracelet. 
That'll be in the store too? No, probably not. (laughs) Unless people want to pay $20 for it. Please. I think they would. Because it's a bracelet. That's something you could wear every day. Right. Easily. Right. And it can be as like outlandish as it can be. It's a bracelet. It's an accessory. That's a hot piece. You're sure that's what it stands for? What Nikki wants, Nikki gets. (laughs) Oh, you made that personally? Oh, I thought you bought it online. I don't want it anymore. Oh, no. (laughs) It's stuck. (laughs) Thank you, Pilar. Pilar. You're the best. All right, guys. It's football season. It's event season. The weather is cooling up, and you got to get indoors to an arena and experience an event. Yeah. We're talking about game time. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. It's uh, it's a stressor that will ultimately lead to you not going to an event. With game time, it's a for sure thing. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy. Um, my sister's going to Sasa's show in Raleigh. She's using game time. Wow. And you can see I used a play. Uh, game time. We're going to uh, Cleveland, going? you and I. With a group to of the people. Ohio State Ohio Penn State, State game? No, Ohio State West Virginia. West Virginia game. Yeah. Basketball. I've been using it. My loved ones use it. My haters even use it and they have a <laughs> <laughs> they have a blast. Yeah. That's why I mean it's it's frustrating. The game, game time is frustrating because everyone's using it. Yeah. Do you want your haters to use yeah, it or not? I guess they yeah, they're they're always up. Yeah, they're always in a great mood because they're using game time often. Um Last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event. Again, every kind of event. And if you're not doing events, you will become depressed. You need that sense Say of the code, thrill Kyle. and camaraderie. Hit them with of the code, going baby. to an event. You will be depressed. Do Again, not forget this. They have this. the best deals on tickets. Yeah, you can't it shack up in your apartment all day, all, Give all year. Give them yeah. the code. They want the code. The They're game time for the garan- code. The game time guarantee means no you'll always get the best price if you find tickets in the same section. Any way they can get it cheaper? Game time will credit you 110% of the difference. (sighs) The code. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Download the game time app, create an account if you haven't already, and use code UNTOLD, U-N-T-O-L-D, for 20% off your first purchase. Mm -hmm. Is it 20% or $20? $20, Mm -hmm. which could be a percentage. If if it's 100 100 bucks. Yeah, which is a common price. Game time, use it. Um, what's going on, boys? Oh. Are, are those really going to get made? The shirts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They actually give me the artwork. We sometimes forget to do the artwork yeah. and send them in. You got to give the artwork. Yeah, yeah we we have. Ha- yeah, I want not gay so bad. Not gay is a good shirt. I would rock that for sure. You know who else would rock that? Uh, gay dudes. Yeah, they would do it. They like to pretend. They like do an irony now. Yeah, too. Well, like gas also, station. Hat. They just gay guys it. love to convert straight guys. So imagine a gay guy wearing that out. He's on a little bit of a dry spell. And a, another gay guy thinks he's going to convert this straight guy. Yes. But it's in fact a gay guy. Or a, a gay guy is trying to flip straight guys and he's wearing the not gay shirt so he can hang out with the gay or with a straight guy all day. And then at the end of the day, when he's fucking him, he's like, no, I'm not gay. This isn't. Gay. Should we have like a Velcro patch to where you could move not? <laughs> 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 An adjustable. Like yeah, a, maybe, a Scooby Doo. Like, yeah. Like, oh, he was gay, gay the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> What if it like changes like color in the, the sun? Like, Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> when <laughs> you sweat. Yeah, when you sweat it. Yeah, like Under Armour. Yeah. 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 Gay. <laughs> and gay has an outline that gets larger. Yeah. Just really big. Yeah, really gay. fucking big. <laughs> gay. <laughs> that would go crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Looking I back in horror. used to consider that an inexplicable phenomenon, like gay guys converting straight guys, but so what I, do you, I get it. Um, <laughs> were you converted? It feels so good to have someone want to fuck you. Oh. Like, it, it's so rare and such a high. Yeah. That, that, like, the two to three times it's happened to me, I leaned in a little bit. To, that gay dudes wanted to fuck you. Yeah, like I don't explicitly reject that. I don't know if I've ever. I don't know if a gay dude's ever wanted to fuck me. If a gay guy comes on to me, I get like insanely like Japanese schoolgirl bashful. <laughs> yeah, it's a great feeling. <laughs> so you like, you saying you lead him on a little bit? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Wait, really? You play yes. into it? Yes. That's what you meant by leaning. Union into Hall, it? Columbus, stumbled in there. I, Very gay ball. The, my most wasted. Yeah, and I was just I. 
didn't didn't deny it. Didn't deny him at all. Because it feels homophobic to be like, I'm not gay, dude. Yo, dude, just yeah. so you know, I'm fucking straight. Yeah. yeah. You can't do that. Especially when no. it's just a gay dude just talking to you and instantly you're like, this fucking guy's definitely trying to fuck me. It's happened to me Even twice. Though he is. He is, and 100%. Both times I like apologize for not being gay. And yeah, that's like, what I'm but saying. But if I was, I would. And then like me even saying that's kind of gay. <laughs> Colum has a column has a story about uh which I think it was in a special about he went to a gay bar. He he told me the backstory. He had to like pass out. He was in it was in like Ireland or some shit like a long time ago. He was young. He had to like pass out flyers or some shit. That's a funny accent and to have a lisp with. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and and a gay dude came up to him behind him and he goes, I want to take you home and shave you. <laughs> and Colum was like, What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, shaving is a sensual thing. I yeah, think. Like, the, yeah. You're getting very close to someone with a blade. Yeah, yeah. It's dangerous a little bit. It is dangerous. Uh -huh. That's the equivalent of like jerking off with a noose on. Yeah, it's it's autoerotic asphyxiation with yeah. somebody else. Yeah. But was he gonna come with the guy, or was it just gonna be a trip to the barber shop? I think it was just a trip to the barber shop. <laughs> yeah. Shave his face or whole body? I think his whole body. I think he wanted probably not even Whoa. the face, probably the chest or something, right? Or is that? I thought gay dudes liked hair. Uh, I think it's different strokes. Yeah, mm. different strokes. Yeah. Um, different you brought up Columbus, Kyle. I kind of have a story about Columbus that involves yeah. you. Oh my god! Uh, pilot of rediscovering America. We had zero budget, so we land in Columbus. We have to stay at my friend Anthony's. And this was my same friend that visited me this past weekend, mm -hmm. and he brought up our trip to Columbus because we stayed there, and he said you were a really good guest, and when you left because we Stay slept on their couch. What I do. You folded Same. up all the blankets and handed them in. You had it nice and piled, and we left before they woke up. Is there anything yeah. you recall? Um, no. I we just I just slept in his basement. I remember that they had to throw away the blankets because they were covered <laughs> in blood. <laughs> Whoa, <What? laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. I, no. But he said like I, you folded it to try to hide it, but they were like oh no, a lot of blood. I. Didn't know I bled, but I was bleeding for a while. Like From my, where? So how do you um, know it was for a while if you didn't know you bled? My ear. Apparently it was a lot of blood. Your ear? My ears would bleed for a while. My pillow is covered in blood, or it was. Um, Why would your ears bleed? I, I don't know. Ever since I had cauliflower ear, the, like, the insides of my ears are always in pain. They flake up and they bleed. Yeah, they said there was- like I didn't a, know. You, I, if I knew, I, I, I still would have done the same thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? But, okay, but so why was, would your blood. why would your ear blood get on the all the sheets and stuff like that though? Wouldn't it just get on the pillow? I'm trying to think of those other. Was it around. squirting? It was all over the blanket. They had throw away the blanket. They said it there was, was a pretty, maroon pretty. blanket. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After you were done with yeah. it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad. Yeah. No, don't feel bad. They had plenty of blankets. Right. But it was just I thought you were like oh fuck and you just folded it. <laughs> Imagine having to tell them that though. I don't think I folded the blankets. I've you never you're done that. You're a good that. guest, apparently. Okay. But I had my buddy Cleveland yeah, come up to visit my place. At least I bleed in my sleep. <laughs> when no one's looking. <laughs> I didn't go to bed last night until I stopped bleeding. I was bleeding from my shin. And you can't I, go to people bed People bleed. Dudes bleed. <laughs> true. That is true. Yeah. That is a very manly thing to do. Well, right. Or very When was the last time you openly bled? I don't, I don't remember the last I time I bled. Last night from the shin, dude. Why were you bleeding from the shins? I don't know. Oh, oh, my, you oh my God. Yeah, is that see? from a bike pedal? Yeah. Probably. Looks like it. But I was bleeding. Pimples don't, pimples don't count, right? No. 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 When was the last time or you really nose bled? Bleeds. You, really, you, really, you were gushing. Like, oh I, I can't remember the last time I gushed. Oh, my God. Has to have been. Dude, I need to bleed. 10 years ago. Yeah, you don't bleed often. <laughs> you got to try it. I got to bleed. Last time I really bled, I was roller skating and I jumped. No, that over doesn't something. count. Why roller skating? Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> Why yeah, yeah. roller blading? Maybe I was roller blading, not skating. Uh -oh. mm. well, that's a different thing. You would have said that roller blading is the one where where it's a blade instead of the four. Right? You said skate. Sounds like you know exactly what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was roller blading and I jumped over something at school and I and I. Oh, like, how uh, long ago was this? This was your last bleed. This is my last remember. This is the last notable bleed that I have because I bled down to the socks and my socks turned all red. It was so much blood. What did you? Where where'd you uh, get hit? Your leg? I I tripped at going full speed and I and I probably slid oh, on my knees knee or something. Slid yeah. on both of my knees for had to have been thirty seconds. Last Went back and the skin was on the sidewalk. Dude, I don't remember the last time. I don't know if I've ever bled. Couldn't go to hockey practice. 
But you could be hemophiliac then. Because if you bled, what if you don't stop? That could oh be. shit! I have yeah. I have all the blood I've had in me since birth. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> You've never leaked any blood. No, you're airtight. You would freak. Yeah, I'm tell you, dude, you would freak. I would freak out. Bleeding is kind of a young man's game, though. It's yeah. more of a child's like game. Yeah, skin like skin knees. Yeah, you're too old to bleed. I know. That's why last night I was yeah. like, I can't also, go to bed bleeding. Like, I might that die. Would be a sick album name. Too old to bleed. Yeah. Too old to bleed. I like that. Or even like a band fucking, name. Yeah. Now, but old people bleed a lot. Mm. Old people are always bleeding from Old people just have like a black eye and a glove. Yeah, old people bruise. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a black eye and a glove. Yeah. They'll just be like bruised up their arm. They'll have like a brace on or Unbelievable. something. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like that. It's fucking gross. I have a Columbus story as well. Uh, I, I did uh, one of my first rap battles of all uh, of all time. It was a two-on-two rap battle in Tag Columbus. Team? Tag team with this guy named Young Zim, an overweight Puerto Rican from Chester, county pennsylvania uh and he he uh picked me up at penn state with his older cousin june or tone i forget which one it was but they're obviously all puerto rican and we pulled up did the rap battle and then afterwards we went to a pool hall and he had he had uh perkies he had perk yeah, fives perks. he had he had in a tin foil container and i took one of them we played some pool and it didn't do anything and then i took the other one and immediately i felt it in my stomach and so i had to go outside the pool hall to projectile vomit it was fucking disgusting and i was like all right take us home to the hotel but he wanted to have a, a bigger better night than that the three of us were sharing two beds i think in a hotel room or something yeah. so he was like i'm gonna order a hooker and he's like you guys go sit in the lobby and so me and young zim after our rap battle had to go sit in the lobby as he like walked oh, down just and he, for him just for him just so for him it wasn't for us yeah. it was like, for him you're like still nauseous off the perk i was nauseous off the perk tired as fuck after having a rap battle i had to drive back to penn state the next day he walked down to the lobby and walked back in with not one but two uh mm. chunky chunky little yeah white, i was gonna ask mm, what's a middle ohio hookers? middle ohio prostitute look like oh uh, actually no so one was it, they look like the um henchmen from 101 dalmatians <laughs> Yeah, you know, one tall, thin one, and yeah, one like yeah, really yeah. round. You like, could also plump have one. said Hercules then too. Yeah, I could have said Hercules. I guess they, every henchman is a skinny one with a big nose and a fat guy. It's a Marty Mush and a Big Ev. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they are the two henchmen it's like of the Apple any Jacks movie. commercials. Yeah, yeah, those are henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> Making. Yeah, they are. No, but they're henchmen. And so we watched them walk in and go up to the hotel room and we like we're just like dozing off on these plush lobby couches of a days in and then like 45 minutes later he was done fucking both these girls and good on him and he was like you guys could or i don't even know because we probably dozed off i don't know how much time passed could have been 15 minutes could have been two hours and just uh we we just like fell asleep did you win the tag team battle uh, i think it was unjudged ah uh, <laughs> yeah. i like that. when do you tap out and tap in <laughs> Uh, we was it like when you were her. really struggling? He was like, "Come on!" Yeah. <laughs> He's a, he had done that before. He forgot his stuff, so he'd like elbow me in the middle of it. But that was a different tag team. But it was my first time uh, around prostitutes and Percocets. Wow, knocked us out in the same night. And uh, in in uh, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Ohio are like dudes for fun. They just get sick off perks. <laughs> yeah. 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 From everything I've heard about opioids, they don't really sound that fun. No, they're not at all. Mostly the death. The death is bad. That's probably the best part. <laughs> yeah. That's Getting probably close it. To death. You're no longer nauseous. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah, yeah like my, I'm nauseous all the time and my turds are the driest thing yeah. on earth. <laughs> my turds are rocks and I'm itchy. Dude, there's this guy that's dropping opioid shits outside of the Chicago office. Yeah. And it's like unbelievable. It looks like like the Utah salt flats. Like, you know how like you have like the, is that, what is that where they are? Yeah. 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 It looks just like that. It's caked up. Yeah. Like a Serengeti. But, yeah. But nothing compares. Being back in New York, I'm now hyper aware of all of the nuances, the smells. What are you noticing? Yeah. I lost my New York ability very quickly. I got like, I'm like stressed in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> it's really? like a sheer cultural blend on any given block. Like you'll get like the homeless guy who's in like a nice fit and well-groomed and the very homeless guy who's like leaking septic oil. <laughs> Then you'll get like Rupert Murdoch. And then you'll get like uh, a dude who's on the phone exclusively cussing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always, he just always speaks like, too. fuck. Yeah. You heard? Like, yeah. Just saying fuck. He just says fuck <laughs> over and over. You heard? <laughs> you'll get like the expressionless model girl who looks like an alien. You'll get like a night. Dude, I've been in, I've been out of New York for so long, I forgot women could be thin. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck are these? Are these girls okay? <laughs> Get, you get the guy who just got the bloody pulp beat out of him and he's doing all right. Like oh, yeah. Timothy Chalamet strutting down like a cartoon bully. And you'll get like the guy, the FedEx guy who's pushing the carts full of bins. Yeah. And he'll just stop for 10 minutes to freestyle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're in the mesh vest. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, like a 97-year-old, four-foot-three woman who's doing errands at a pace of one meter per hour you're like how is she ever gonna finish how is this? she alive yeah, yeah. that milk's expiring yeah. by the time she gets home it was like a german family of five all over six foot three under 160 bewildered and then ryan from the office <laughs> <laughs> that's it that, Dude, and that's, that's one so crazy that's it one long. Like, it's that's exciting for yeah. sure is it not like that in the midwest they have you guys have homeless out there no celebs not, not even close no really I, when I was in Chicago, they were saying that uh, that heroin's not really a big thing out there. Really? Which I didn't believe because I was like, they're, all the crime. They were like, I was like, what's the big drug out here? And someone was like, weed. And I was <laughs> like, that can't be. I was like, you guys, there's no way you guys have Iraq levels of war in your city over weed. Yeah. I could just buy that. Know, it's not like an opioid city, I don't think. What is it, crack? It's got to be crack. I have no idea. I don't know. Cities with that much crime, there's got to be a drug involved. I've been there for 30 days, man. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know who, yeah. what the crack scenes. I like? don't know the crack. Well, you scene get a you get a good yet. idea pretty easily. I don't really do any. I exploring. haven't done anything. Yeah, I've, that's what I've realized. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm not assuming that you guys have done the drugs. No, no, no. I haven't. I haven't done anything. I've lived in my oh. apartment building. Oh yeah. I went to the grocery store trivia night. I, I don't even go to the grocery store. I Amazon Fresh. Uh, factor. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I could do what I've done in Chicago in Wilkes-Barre. <laughs> yeah. Or Burlington, Vermont. Is that the biggest city? I think. Yeah. I haven't you done could... anything. What, uh, but... Burlington's got a shit ton of homeless people. Oh. Really? Yeah. Feisty ones, too. Really? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I've been there a bunch. You did it. You've been to Burlington a bunch? Yeah. A bunch of my friends went Is to school there. Is that Ski Town? Uh, close to it. Ski towns, I feel like, attract the homeless. Yeah, I, which I don't know why, because I feel like I'd want to be anywhere else aside from Burlington, Vermont. It's like zero degrees there for nine months out of the year. It's like a similar correlation, though, between like a snowboarder and a guy who's fully homeless, though. Yeah, that is yeah, true. It's a yeah. You're a snowboard away. <laughs> yeah. That's the one, that's the fine, the fine line is the width yeah. of a snowboard. <laughs> yeah, literally, there is dudes who probably like, it's like every other year they're homeless. Yeah. One year, they're like, I got a job up on the mountain again. And then the next year, they're fucking uh, on the streets of Burlington. Yeah. Alternate. Yeah. Because they're just partying hard. It is true. It is a I know it they, is. I, I'm schmacked went to Ver Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> and every video leading up to that was like people beer bonging and like blacking out. And I totally forgot about I'm it. I'm schmacked. schmacked. <laughs> went to Vermont University or whatever. And everyone was just, it was just a highlight reel of people smoking blunts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know who's behind the, the lens is Buddha Ben. No way. Right. He was the, I'm, I'm schmacked, schmacked was Barstool? No, no. Buda, Buda Ben oh, got hired Buda ben was, though. from I'm um, Schmacked, and he was like their main cameraman. And he's obviously a blunt smoker, so he was just like, go up and just be like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so people who are smoking a blunt, which is kind of dope. That was like that was a wild run of the internet where it was all those accounts. I was watching I'm Schmacked in high school and having never drank or fucked or smoked. Yeah, and like. I'm like, I'm going to do this in college so soon. And I just didn't. Yeah. Like, I, I was like living through these guys that were a year older than Yeah. <laughs> People probably younger than you in the videos. Yeah. Is I'm Schmack yeah. still around? It's got to still be a thing, right? Yeah, dude. They got valued at one, like $150 million. Yeah. No. That dude, Yousef, is rich as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Schmack. So yeah. got valued at yeah. $150 million. Yeah. A scam artist, maybe. They have a seltzer. They got to have merch, too. I, dude, yeah, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> it is long gone, I'd imagine. No, it's got to still be an Instagram. I'm Schmack is so. publicly traded now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm Schmack. I, I lost the bell everything like the I have Nasdaq. on I'm Schmack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But what? So the whole uh, winter time, you're going to just be inside your apartment, too. Like, if you just spent the whole summer, the only good time to be outside in Chicago inside i know and so you're just gonna be more inside now yeah i heard there's a big house party or apartment party culture in chicago but i don't have any friends there what about the know? squish party what, what about nikki smokes yeah. squish party i was out of town damn i was I about know. to fly in for that yeah. one day only i was about to show up have you interacted with him uh i have not you guys would get along i, I bet i swear i know we would 
I love you people. two, you and you guys are complete opposites. Yeah. You're like a no fun guy. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> he wanted to come to my shows and try and dump sack. He wanted to do blow off the stage. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if they're going to let that happen. Well, because you still haven't jumped off the porch yet. He jumped off the porch at 14. Yeah, that's You're true. You're still on the porch said. fucking that's hanging like a... onto the pillar, like scared that the wind's going to take you. <laughs> Jump off the porch one time. All right. Next ad is for Marine Lair. Hell yeah. It's official. We found the softest shirt of all time. We've been searching and searching and searching independently. And Marine, Marine Lair came aboard. And guess what, Kyle? I have two of the Marine Layer shirts. Yeah, 80% going. of my apparel compliments have been from my two Marine Layer shirts. I have I promise. A, I have a Marine Layer crew neck. It looks like it's inside out, but it's not. It's brown. It looks awesome. It gets yeah. compliment all the time. You said, where'd you get that? That It was, it was Marine Layer. It was Marine yeah. Layer. You had the chance to get it, but I chose it. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's comp you get compliments. It's warm, especially for a cold Chicago, a brisk New York. Uh, it's, it's perfect. Uh, when you want to get rid of your old tees, they'll literally pay you for them with the respun program. If you buy their tees, you can return the tees when they're done. Super soft, super sustainable. Uh, they go way beyond t-shirts as well. They have laid back over shirts, pants, jackets, the cozy layers you want for the cooler season. I think we can all admit the perfect tee is hard to find. Look no further than Marine Layer for a limited time. Get 15% off with code UNTOLD, UNTLD1515, UNTLD15 at MarineLayer.com. That's code UNTOLD15 for 15% off your entire order at MarineLayer.com. Saving your closet one shirt at a time. So I heard you, Sass, you uh, last week in Chicago, you got that, that, that high. You're like, we're going to black out tonight. Oh, it a, was the lat. Well, it was a, we, it was a long ass run. I mean, I was on the road for six weeks straight. No, I'm not blaming you. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna get fucked up. I had an early flight, so I was like, I think I'm just gonna say the fuck troops it. And we're like, Let's, yeah, we're getting blacked out. Well, because Mook was trying to leave, and I was having a good time. I was talking to our buddy Aiden, and I was like, I'd like to. I was like, let's hang out for a little bit. I was like, let's have a good time, and uh, and then I hit Mook's jewel, and instantly just this wave <laughs> of intense nausea. Like it, it was, I felt bad. It was like me off the perkies in Columbus. It, no, it was like. The it, jewel is your perk. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> like, guys, let's get fucked up tonight. Hit the jewel once, literally 30 seconds later. I got to get out of here, guys. Like I, after, like literally, like rounding them up, like convincing them, like, guys, let's stay. Let's have a good time. Let's like go to another bar. Let's hit a late night bar. And then one hit of the jewel, and I'm like, I got to go home right now. Dude, thank God you were with Mook and not like a comedian, because then they would have been like talking about you on other pods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I heard Mook brought it up on the act. He did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one other person in this room who used to do this. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Pre-diagnosis. You would always be like, we're beer. blacking out. Oh, and yeah. I'd go like home drinking. 17 minutes later. Oh, I'd no, home. it wouldn't even. Usually, I'd, I'd be like, I got to go home and bar. cramp on my tile. Yeah. Usually it would be a text at like but it was so hype, all be, yeah. it would be right after the yak we'd all be here and Nick be like Nikki's thirsty Nikki's thirsty <laughs> I'd say I'd text I'm feeling a blackout thirsty. today I'd send, it with, I'd, out I'd send it with like invisible ink and like watch you guys from across the room like wipe your phone no, but we would get and so excited nod, like, this is your yeah. phone. and then he'd send like the demon emoji and we'd be like demon. fuck yeah dude he'd be like let's go to let's go to Central Park let's get a couple beers let's pregame there and then hit the bars and one like, bar fuck yeah and then I'd be like all right what are we gonna do and Nick's like I actually I gotta go pick up my laundry at my apartment but I'll like do that I'll take ten minutes and then I'll meet you guys out hours would pass i would be cramping and we'd be like nick where are you at and he'd be like on the train heading there now another hour would pass boys i am beat I'm i am beat, destroyed boys. right now i cannot make it out my stomach sounded like <laughs> godzilla 2000 <laughs> that's what it was i think so how have you been what have you been doing to remedy that how have you been i just don't eat gluten so which in turn drink, changed my so diet enough to now. give me kidney stones yeah yeah kidney stone. dude i was pissing and then just the piss stopped and I looked down. It was like when Augustus Gloop got stuck in that tube. <laughs> and then I saw it going, like I saw it like moving down. Another movie reference, like when Owen Wilson got eaten by that anaconda. And so I could like in see the, the, yeah. Um, and then it just shot out. And then my dick started bleeding, which is like the last place you want to bleed. Oh, that's the last time I bled from my dick last oh, week. Oh, yes. Yeah, there we go. Dick. Yes. I, yeah. I gushed from my dick hole. Oh, dude. Kidney stones. I called my mom. How painful. I never want to call my mom and talk about my dick, but I did because yeah. I, so, I was like nervous. What, what would she know? She, what is she, she doesn't know what to do with it. She was it. like, it sounds like a kidney stone. And I called my doctor and he's like, are you, are you celiac? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, you have kid, celiac gets kidney stones. Oh. Because like my diet's just been all nuts and meat. Oh my God. It, it was serrated as hell, dude. Sucked. It didn't uh, break up into a cloudy discharge? No. Dang. No, no, no. But you didn't even know you had it at first, did my you? My back was hurting and my oh. side, yeah. So like I was like, I just thought I slept weird. 
God damn. Uh-huh. So some people don't even pass them. Yes, it's sometimes they stay them or sometimes they just kind of dissolve. So, this guy stuck with me. It. it sucked, dude. It's but now, but best now case I can go scenario. out and drink. I can text you, Nixie. I could be thirsty tonight. Yeah, he can, he can hang. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. hang now. I've heard. I've heard I've, this. So, dude, I miss. Like, Except for the one night I was there when you said that, and then same thing. <laughs> I was tired. Boys, we are destroyed. <laughs> Boys, yeah. <laughs> but like, like thirty minutes had passed. Blacking out with you is one of my favorite things because you black out is the funniest thing. <laughs> yeah. You go really, up to girls and you be like, if you come home with me, there's one rule. <laughs> You're not allowed to come more than three times. <laughs> That's your one rule that you tell them, dude. You de- you like you're just like if you do, I'll, it's a turn off if you come more than three times. <laughs> no, I, I, Sass's I, ground rule. <laughs> rules are rules. Everyone has dude. their boundaries. Yeah, everyone has it's their like boundaries. Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah. you don't yeah. let the girl come more than three times. You have been coming way too much. That's not gonna work. That is how the dudes in high school who f- started fucking before you would talk, and it would make you so much more insecure. Oh like, yeah, they would talk about how often they give girls comes. Or, or I I dads. actually I'm I like, disagree. Oh, shit, like, I'm afraid to fuck now. Now I'm even more afraid if that's what you're doing. I disagree. I don't even think I knew girls could come until I was like 18. No, I thought. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Good on you. I didn't. No. That was a lie. I was probably. I was like ha- probably out of. I probably dropped out of college by then. Yeah. By the time that I knew that was even a possibility. I don't know why I was convinced that dudes, <laughs> 17 year old dudes that were fucking, yeah, were like expert were fuckers. Ones. Yeah. And I was always convinced that I had a tiny dick. Yeah. Tiny dick can't fuck. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. In high school, I there was a kid I, named Dan Rosa who had, he was like telling us, I I think I even overheard the story, but it made me so intimidated. He was like talking about a sex tape that he made where he was, I think, either fucking a girl or eating a girl out. And he was like, she told him she was about to squirt. And he like ran out of there like a like a bomb was about to drop. He said he like <laughs> bailed out and got the fuck out <laughs> that of was, Dodge. That was Dude, every what? junior in high school sex yeah. story. So yeah. you're like, fuck, uh, what am yeah. I going to do? <laughs> we, I, I remember, recovering. Dude, I'd, I walk away from squirts without looking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Steph Curry. <laughs> like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker with it blowing up. <laughs> I remember, yeah, like I'm, I'm pressing the clip. <laughs> I do remember being in high school, or like, like not even high school, like middle middle school, and there would be a girl who, like, there was a rumor that she had had sex like one time, and everyone would be like, "Dude, I would never tap that. I would <laughs> never. Yeah, her pussy is so, like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Yeah, dude. you know what she I'm is saying? Like, yeah, fuck her. <laughs> you went off of Damaged goods. Like, the yeah. loosest pussies were all thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was yeah. literally, it was like in your idea at that age, it was like if a girl had had sex once, you're like, dude, she's fucking ran like, through A girl it. could yeah. get fingered by one of my classmates yeah. who was 12. Yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's ran fucking through. ran through, dude. <laughs> what would even be the point of fucking her? You're not going to feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> These guys also had like ju- huge dicks. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I was convinced. Yeah. My boy Marcus lost his virginity in eighth grade, and I thought he was like the best at fucking. Yeah. I'd imagine he wasn't a good uh, as a no. boy at fucking. No. But they all have a little bit of a tinge of facial hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. like a little green like shadow of facial hair. Yeah. The kid's facial hair is green. It was like a little bit green. <laughs> fucking gross. How's that gone unnoticed? <laughs> but they all, they all fuck. Yeah. The kids with the green facial hair out there fucking. Uh-huh. Like the pitchers in the Little League World Series. Yeah. Yes. Like they, yeah. Those guys probably do fuck better. They than do fuck better than me. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking like 35 year old white women. Those yeah, those yeah. kids in the Little League World <laughs> Series, Danny Almonte and them. Because girls yeah. love baseball players. That's yeah. like top of the chain. Those tight little pants. Yeah, because they got those yeah cute little asses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The Knickerbockers, yeah. the high socks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it should be the least attractive uniform in sports. Baseball, yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. You have the high socks. Yeah, and there's like. A belt. Yeah. The coaches yeah. The have coach to wear wears the uniforms. The same thing. Yeah. That's hilarious. And he's like 80. Yeah. He's like Just fat in case and he's got to get on the diamond. <laughs> like waddling out. Like also, up the like stairs. pitchers doing like the leg kick yeah. and everything. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, dude, that, that, that's like, the, that's like the their intimidating photo. photo. Yeah. And like that's what landed fucking Kate Upton. Every like, single dude. out. Yeah. That yeah. was the early 2010s when cleat chasers had their wave. Because Every single outfielder, there's a video of him just running into a wall. Yeah. Just smacking into a wall at full speed. But they'll wear like missing a, a, home a Puka run. Shell network, uh, Puka Shell necklace and like a three quarter length t shirt. Yeah. And girls are like, that's fucking hot. Yeah. Yeah. Still is, though. Length. They're still top dogs. Yeah, they still are. I mean, it's like, 
You don't want to marry that. That's a long ass season. Well, I heard that from uh, from other sports that they envy the baseball players with the groupie scene because every other sport is in a town and then they leave the next night. Baseball players are there for the three nights. Yeah. Or so and they they'll have go time to they're they're like building work. strong, long relationships. They should get in yeah. trouble more. They should. They can also probably party way harder because there's it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Yeah. Yeah. No. You could be off of one hour of sleep and you would still play baseball at Just the highest level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know like the average amount of action in a football game is like what? Three and a half minutes like total if you were to cut out all oh, the really? time and just play every play straight through. Yeah. It might be more than that. That sounds low. But what do you think like one baseball player shortstop? What's his average amount of action in like the game? Like 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 30 seconds. And all they have to do is of like moving your body, hit a blooper over the third baseman every four at bats, <laughs> millions of dollars. And then they're yeah. in the most prime pussy. Yeah. Four nights a week. Primetime pussy. Do city, oh. city. Do NBA players pussy. get like kidney stones? I haven't heard. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> they're dirty. NBA players are specimens and they like the majority of them don't have good diets. They're like Greek gods cut from stone obsidian um and yeah is that true i don't know uh i don't know either honestly i can't i, I haven't eaten you guys know the ball scene a little more than we do yeah yeah, yeah they're, they're 10 yeah, feet tall and have great eth or like a metabolism and they play they sports every burn day off that yeah they need right. that they play so much sports that when you go out to eat with pat bev what's the order yeah he's the type of rich guy who will order like eight appetizers like the waiter will come over like talking about water and he'll order all the appetizers right away and then he'll probably order steaks or maybe like a fish sometimes i don't know typical okay. rich guy well, shit what's a, i need a cool phrase for ordering every appetizer <laughs> sweep the apps i'm pretty sure harry sweep potter the on the hogwarts express said we'll take the lot <laughs> we'll take the <laughs> lot take he the did lot. say that <laughs> yeah i wanted because he had all those galleons yeah. off that, <laughs> we'll take the lot in and then galleon. ron ron has dirt on his nose he's like what i've never taken the lot before <laughs> yeah that's what pat bev says as well we'll take the lot <laughs> You guess the birdie fights. There needs to be a British NBA star. They really need one back. Yeah. Just blowing all his money on chocolate frogs. Shoot a basketball. <laughs> the British. The Harry Potter jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, birdie bots. <laughs> Pat Bev's like, this one's bogey. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate frog. Dude. They yeah, balled Pat out. Bev's trying to get that Dumbledore card. <laughs> Oh my God! Take the lot is Pat Bev does sound like a, it could be a British name, Patrick Beverly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Maybe like someone who orders a whole. I'll take this page. The menu. <laughs> yeah. I'll give me the whole page. The whole page. Ordering by the page. I'll take page four. <laughs> <laughs> that is, but I haven't eaten out with them enough. But it's he likes to eat out a lot though. Tyler's probably has eaten out with him more than I have. Tyler's in the fucking mix. Yeah, he's he's, he's his right out. hand man. They t they say that Tyler they'll, they'll they'll be like Tyler plays like uh, semi pro ball when <laughs> he's yeah, a, you when might as he's well. around. Yeah. <laughs> Do they really say that? Yes, they'll That's be like awesome. yeah, he balls too because he's tall enough. You know what I mean? He has like the kind of quiet disposition. Yeah, yeah, of a semi pro baller. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. I said some bad things. <laughs> really bad. I've been things. on my worst behavior today. Worst. Damn, so what's ad lib him? Yeah, worse. Oh, good. Yeah. That's how we roll now. A lot of things have changed since you guys moved to Chicago. Where yeah, we've we more have uh, more of like you've amigos. been out of New York more than we have. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Yeah. He is. He was out there all last week, just rocking with you guys. Shot People, down. They took a picture of him his first day in, and it was the most tired a humans ever looked. Yeah. Well, I was also. He looked like the Mexican alien. Yeah, it was a bad. That was <laughs> he a did look like <laughs> Jeff Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was. I mean, I had to go from Vegas to Portland, which was like just absolutely exhausting going back and forth that much i mean i guess you did that with fucking la like four times in a week yeah that was hilarious you got stuck in la yeah, like 10 times Rowan had to go to la fly back go the next week fly back for for nothing for a zoom meeting with erica <laughs> 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 who we work with who we work with um in the same office in the office building yeah you, you going to la place. is a lot different than me flying across the country though why because you fly across the country and you're pretty much just like laying in a more comfortable version Rode of your rents apartment a, rents an apartment <laughs> yeah. i'm on the emirates flight yeah <laughs> of a indian woman coming to serve me in my room yeah <laughs> it's fucking incredible no uh that's not true at all 
It is. Yeah, it is. It's definitely. It's fully true. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you when we flew to the Super Bowl in L.A., you came back to visit me and Kyle. Like no, you, I wasn't. Yeah, you I you brought like an overnight bag to the back of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> like, they gave me that. some extra pajamas if you guys want some. <laughs> they gave me like four sets of pajamas. None of these are my size. He loves to stumble back. Yeah. And just like gaze at the pores. All right. No, I like lean up. It's like a zoo for you. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys making out back here? He I could tell you were, I could tell you were holding your breath so you didn't have to smell us. <laughs> hey, guys. Roan gets furious when they don't put the curtain all the way up. <laughs> He's like, hey, what's, why is there no curtain? Or if like, why why do I feel open. like I can smell the poor people right <laughs> Next now? Next time you're on a flight, walk up and try to pee in the I've first done place. Roan will stop you yeah. single-handedly. It'll be like Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put him you in have a to fucking, go through me. <laughs> yeah, choke slam him. <laughs> No, that was going to be me on the day of jihad. I was I was worried about it. I flew on day of jihad. I flew on day of Wait, jihad. What was that? What ended up anything? The day of action? rage. Apparently, stuff uh, happened. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were called. It was the day of rage. Yeah. Maybe if you want to do like some surprise terrorism, don't call the day day of jihad. Yeah, that's like what we were saying beforehand. I yeah. said on son of a boy. I said that the day of jihad will go down as the worst day in the history of jihad. Yeah, like the ultimate yeah. failure. It was too publicized. So if like somebody was about to do it, they're like, yeah, it's their 9-11. Will... It is. It's worse than 9-11 <laughs> for them. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> really <laughs> them not Tragic. being able to terrorize. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's exactly how Chris Daughtry got eliminated on American Idol. Everybody was like, he's so good. Like yeah. somebody else will vote for him. I'll vote for my second favorite. So like all the people that were planning on doing stuff is like, oh, somebody else will do it. I'll do another day. <laughs> so it's our 9-11 <laughs> our yeah. is there every day. Right. Yeah. Their 9-11 is when they just When fail. they fail. Yeah. We just, just had a good terrorism. normal day. So we're up on them. Well, I one, mean, after that, one one going into the one, third. One. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they 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 failed massively. It was an all time. So they're they're about but they're, this is going to be bulletin shit. board. This is going to be yeah. bulletin board for them. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going <laughs> really, back to the yeah. board. Yeah, they're a poverty franchise. No, but I'm saying that they're going to see. They're going to be putting this oh, video up. On, be like, look, boy. <laughs> come on. <laughs> They're frauds. Frauds who have been All exposed. Right, damn, dude, they might stop liking you. Yeah, yeah. probably. Oh, Two God. one lead. I, I, it's gonna be five five, and we're adults. A rubber <laughs> match is gonna be a lead. The rubber <laughs> matches. We'll we'll send our children. <laughs> They'll fight the rubber matches for us. It is all right. It, shirts it was versus like, vests. It's like that. Uh, it's like that fucking that Drewski video where he's li- where he's playing the cop and he's listening to the rappers be like, "I fucking shot the dude." And then they're all just like, all right, well, we got him. <laughs> it's like they're sitting in Times Square being like, we're going to blow up fucking the Empire State Building. And they're like, all right, well, you're not because now we know that you're going to do that. Or even there was like a guy who like called for it, wasn't there? Yeah, it was the dude. There was a dude in Times Square who was like going off being like, we're going to kill all these people. And he unscrewed like, yeah. his Elmo head. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Dude, what if your Uber driver's like, hey, one quick stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That could happen. Yeah. Every time you get into the Uber, you're throwing that risk. <laughs> or you're, you're no, Uber- not, not just with fucking. I just mean it is crazy that you're just getting into this random car. They could just fucking take you rogue if they want to. Or your Uber Eats is like, I'm going to be a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been like really into uh, looking at the fun facts of Uber drivers. They're asked to put like their fun so facts. It's pretty funny. Yeah. This one guy's fun fact was steak. <laughs> that was my guy yesterday. His fun fact was steak. Um <laughs> Yeah, we talked about it on the yak him. with uh, with our Uber driver, right? In Chicago. Oh, we were yeah. Going from Rosemont to he was like, I was uh he was like he 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 moved to Chicago from Syria. And he was oh, like, yeah. I, I was in the I served in the military for two years and then uh jail one. And we were like, What? And he's like, jail one. <laughs> and we were like, What are you talking about? He's like, Oh, I went to jail one year. I, I, sh- I shot I uh, accidentally shot man, he ended up being general. <laughs> and I shot was like, general. that can't be true. That cannot be right. Friendly fire or like uh, Friend, uh, friendly fire during the shot war. the general of Syria. And I was like, dude, I feel like in Syria, if you shoot the general, they probably like peel your skin off layer by layer. Yeah. I don't think it's like you, he yeah. said he did nine months in Syrian prison for shooting the general. I'm trying to find my Uber driver's fun fact that I had last. It was. Oh, here it was. This was a uh, Somali as his name. And his fun fact was Fufu. <laughs> it's a fun ass fact. That yeah. is a fun fact. Yeah. yeah. Why do they Fufu have it? what? I didn't know. Yeah. None of them speak English. That is a fun fact. Fufu. What does fufu mean? Uh, fufu is an African dough. Oh, okay. So is it like? Well, that's right up there with steak, then. Yeah, just his favorite food. Just your favorite food. 
Fun fact. Yeah. Steak. Steak. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great fun fact. Hey, do you guys know steak? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> I was just reading. Dude, I just read some crazy snapple. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, steak. Oh, have you seen this one, babe? <laughs> I just read this crazy shit. Steak. <laughs> Did you know steak? <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I did not know about that. Oh, man. Yeah, I, Uber, Uber driver profiles are like my new vice. Because I just heard chicken recently. <laughs> <laughs> Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> the host is like, next up, fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anything Two else? and a lie. <laughs> Steak, uh, steak chicken, chicken fish eggs <laughs> you guess uh, all right two truths and a lie i got steak chicken and i didn't go to homecoming my junior year <laughs> i've sucked off two guys at the same time <laughs> oh it's steak it's steak <laughs> uh, uh, you boys have anything uh anything to promote no. son of a boy dad son of a boy dad two son times a week dad, yeah um. Yeah, check it out. Which this will be. I don't know if we have much of a crossover audience. No, I don't think we have. <laughs> yeah. That, that, oh no, I think we do have a crossover audience. I was joking. Oh it's yeah. A Saran, a yeah. Yeah. Same. This yeah. <laughs> anus, the yak, and son of a boy dad. Were, we just it was the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're about to do it again. We're about to just yeah. run it back again. And every time yeah. I, we do like a, a a boy story, I'm just like, oh, the numbers are going to be double. It's, it's just no, it's the, the same, same guy, same, same, same dudes, yeah. same dudes. People enjoy it same more, episodes. but it's yeah, the yeah. exact same amount of yeah. listens. <laughs> yeah, literally, there's literally no increase. No, no, and it's probably the same exact guys. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Respect, love you guys. Hey, we're yeah, fireable. For sure, like they could cut one of us, <laughs> one pair. Of well, us. we're literally yeah, we're a duplicate. <laughs> All right, yeah. We're just Thank you guys same. for having. We're God the bless. same dude with different ailments. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Which one of us is sass? You. I'm sass with. Uh, You're sass with uh, bl a bloody ear and fucking yeah, uh, yeah. the the body that he talks about. Truth. Yeah. Body yada 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 yada. Thank you guys. <laughs>